Now, I am enjoying the story while telling you, so I am sure if I enjoy, then you must be enjoying it. And this is not a mere story, as you all know. It is the great Adi Kavi, Valmiki's expression, because he was himself a Rishi, of the expression of the deep separation of the aspirant with the Supreme Being. Viraha is the keynote of the Ramayana, from the beginning till the end. Sorrow and separation. And through the beautiful story of Sri Ramachandra, he and Sita and how they separate. And the love between Rakshmana and Rama. And the finally the merging or coming together of those who were separated is the story of the Ramayana. So it's a vehicle of Rama who is considered to be Ayana, vehicle of Rama, who is considered to be in some places human, in some places divine, a beautiful merging of divinity in human form. Very beautifully, Maria the Purusha. And Rama is not the kind of avatara who runs around or jumps around and dances. He is the calm type with his bow and arrow. So we are all students, including me, sitting and listening to this beautiful story. Let's think it that way. Because as I read every day, I find that I come across certain layers of my own consciousness which have not been illumined before. They shed light. Because this very tricky affair of human and divine and how they live in this world and yet achieve, remain divine is something very, very important for all, all sadhaks especially. The branches of the Shimshupa tree on which Hanuman was seated were very near those of the Ashoka tree under which Sita was standing. All of a sudden, Hanuman, after great deliberation, decided to attract Sita's attention. How did he do that? He began to recite in a low voice. There was once a great king by name Dasharatha. <laughs> he was a saint among kings. He was famed for his prowess and his truth. He had four sons, the eldest of whom is known by the name of Rama and so on. So he went on reciting the entire story and then he came to the part where he said in return, Rama promised to establish Sugriva on the throne of Kishkinda. Accordingly, Rama killed Bali and gave his kingdom to his friend Sugriva. The monkeys are all the servants of Sugriva, then all been sent in all the four directions to search for Sita and I, who is sitting on the tree, am one of them. <laughs> An eagle Sampati by name, who is the brother of Jatayu, told me that Sita is in Lanka. So I crossed the white sea and landed in this city. Sita, who has been described to me by Rama, has been seen by me. After saying this, he sat silent, hoping for the response. Sita was overcome with wonder. She did not know whether it was a vision or a waking dream. She held a long twist of hair in one hand and the other was still clinging to the branch of the tree. Her face was half concealed by her dark hair falling on her forehead. She raised her head to look at the Shimshupa tree from which the strange voice was heard. She said, where is this voice? Disembodied voice. Her thoughts, her words and actions were all dedicated to Rama. And she looked round in fear, lest someone else had heard the words. Then Sita said, may it be true. She told herself again and again. And then she looked at the tree to see. Hanuman, who was wise and far-seeing, was happy that he had thought of doing the right thing. He climbed to a branch which could be seen by Sita on the top of the tree. And Sita saw a small monkey clinging to the branch. He was like a kitten. She was taken aback and she looked again with fear in her eyes. His eyes were the color of liquid gold and he was small and very attractive. He was seated humbly on the tree. And he seemed harmless. Still doubts assailed the mind. She did not look at him again and thought it was all a dream. Hanuman knew exactly what she was thinking. She had been frightened. She regained her power of thinking and then she told herself, They say it is an evil omen if a monkey appears in a dream. <laughs> huh? Suffering as I am because of this sorrow of separation from Rama, 
is it not possible for me to have fallen asleep since it's not a dream it must be a delusion maybe a hallucination i'm always repeating rama's name and thinking of him so it is it possible for a hallucination to take place i do see it it's not a fabric of my imagination i surrender myself to the gods please have pity on me and make the words of the monkey come true hanuman thought this is the proper time when he should come down so he descended from the tree and prostrated before her he placed his two hands high above his head and began talking to her he placed his hands and he said lady you seem to be a divine woman to my thinking you are the queen of some kingdom if by chance you are sita who was brought forcibly here by ravana then please listen to me it is evident that you are rama's queen your beauty is far superior to ordinary mortals you are sita there is no doubt about this sita heard the words of hanuman and still clinging to the bow of the tree she said you are right i am the daughter of janaka the king of videha they call me sita i am the wife of the noble rama and then she told a story and she said i have been granted respite for two months more and after that i will give up my life i am certain of that hanuman listened to the words he said devi i have been sent here by rama i have brought you news he is well and he asked me to find out how you are lakshmana sends his prostrations to you through me thrill with the words which spoke of rama she said there is a proverb which says if a man lives in hope happiness will come sooner or later this proverb has been proved true for me they spoke for a while sita passed for a while with a puzzled look and said perhaps you are what you are looking at you my mind seems to be in peace tell me about my lord and describe him to me she sat silently hanuman began to speak words to reassure her trust me he said i crossed the sea and came here my name is hanuman i have dared to enter the city of the enemy please do not mistrust me i have been sent by rama sita was now certain that he had come from rama pushing her sorrow aside she said when did you meet rama tell me all about me. lakshmana what happened in the meeting so hanuman described all the incidents and then i will take leave of you devi he said tell me what i should do sita was not able to talk since her feelings were mixed she was happy that rama remembered her she was sorry to hear about the suffering she was going through hanuman said rama has sent you the message that he is well he will come soon also he has sent this signet ring for you please accept this and do not grieve any more she took it in her hands and looked at it tears flowed from her eyes she said hanuman you are a very noble and brave person how else could you have single handedly thwarted the entire host of rakshasas and come here you are fearless and even ravana and his fame do not seem to impress you if rama had so much confidence in you and he should choose you you must certainly be out of the ordinary i am happy to know that my lord with his brother is going to come i hope he has not lost heart as for me not my father nor my mother nor anyone else is as dear to me as rama and that is the reason why i am still able to live 